Now as we look at the day ahead here on our Monday, Monday Night Football, Rich. Monday Night Football, and actually after the weekend we had, there was a lot of concern about what the weather would be like for tonight, especially in terms of air quality, and the good news is it should be just fine. So we started to clear out yesterday, and that's continuing today. We checked that forecast for tonight. Looking pretty good uh, in the afternoon and evening hours. Uh, we've got partly sunny skies, partly to mostly sunny, actually. Good air quality around Lumen Field and most of western Washington by then as we continue to clear out the wildfire smoke. Temperatures this afternoon around game time. That kickoff at 515 in the low 70s, cooling to the mid 60s, mid to upper 60s by the end of the game. So great evening for football out there for sure. Take a look at something which you might have missed over the weekend because there was so much going on with the wildfire smoke and uh, sports and et cetera is on Saturday. SeaTac <laughs> snuck up to 92 degrees. It was an interesting day because the smoke, they had less smoke at SeaTac than Boeing Field. They only hit 85 degrees yesterday. Anyway, that made it the 13th time this year we'd hit uh, 90 or warmer, which set the all time record for the number in a single year at SeaTac and its 77 year record. So we knew it's been a pretty warm summer overall. And last night we had a brilliant red sunset. It was just we had regular clouds sitting over us, but the sun popped below those clouds, but it was still shining through that smoke that was laying off the coast of the upper levels filtering out all the blue colors, all the blue uh, frequencies. And we take that out, things get really, really red and orange. And so we had this spectacular sunset last night. Might be a pretty good one tonight, but not quite that red. Take a look at the Bellingham Tower Cam. We've got a little bit of haze left over out there. You can especially see that from our Tacoma Tower Cam. Not as bad as it looks as the low clouds are adding to it. Radar does show some showers, but most of that evaporating before it gets to the ground. But that's increasing the relative humidity. And with that, that's improving the fire situation. See, the smoke model does show that the onshore flow kicks in today and gradually pushes the remainder of that smoke, most of the remainder of that smoke out of here by later on today. Our air quality right now is moderate, but by this afternoon, just about everybody's going to be in the good range. And those that aren't today will make it there tomorrow. So that's a good trend, that's for sure. Take a look at our uh, temperatures this morning, or to temperatures for today. We're going to be running running mostly in the low to mid 70s, so a pretty good day, some upper 60s to the north. And we settle into a pattern of morning clouds and afternoon sun for the week with high temperatures cooling off a little bit uh, starting tomorrow in the upper 60s and low 70s. Might see a few late night showers Saturday into early Sunday over the weekend. Otherwise, a little bit of sun and cooler with highs in the mid to upper 60s.